Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Shane and welcome to Clutch Guitars. So today I'm out here in central Colorado and I'm in a riparian area at about 5,600 feet elevation. And the reason I'm here on May 5th, 2020, this is the time to find the blonde morel mushrooms in this part of the country. I'm actually in a perfect spot. I did my research. Uh, we had some good rain about two days ago, but this is the perfect conditions to actually find some. It doesn't mean we're gonna find any, but this is the perfect conditions. As you can see behind me, we've got some beaver downed cottonwood trees and behind the camera is a stream and behind me is a swamp back there. So this is kind of like marshy area, the ground itself. If you stick your finger into the ground, you can tell uh, the, the ground is about, you know, it's a little bit cool to the touch, but it's not warm yet. So we're at like 50 degrees consistently for about two weeks. This is the perfect conditions for the blonde morel mushroom. Let's go ahead and look around and hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so I haven't been here very long. But I already found some oyster mushrooms and they seem like they're still good. They're a little bit dry, but they're totally still edible. Just soak them in water for a while. They might be a little buggy, but I'll just take my knife and cut them right along the base of the tree trunk here. This is a downed cottonwood tree, a beaver downed cottonwood tree. Wow, that thing is actually pretty big. It's a little buggier than I would like. It's definitely not prime, but it's still totally edible. So I'm just gonna cut off the sandy, dirty areas. Yeah, all this stuff down here, we'll just cut that off. There's not too many bugs in it. And yeah, the rest of this we can take home, let it soak in water for a while. I mean, there are some bugs in it, but no big deal. That's actually a really nice that's a decent sized cluster of oyster mushrooms. This is one of the best tasting mushrooms around. Then again, I say that about all mushrooms, but now these oyster mushrooms are the reason I actually started getting into uh, mushroom foraging. My grandfather and I used to go out and get like 10 pounds of these things in Pennsylvania, but yeah, these are still edible. I wouldn't uh, let them here to rot and waste. Nice. Put your mushrooms in a mesh bag so when you're walking through the forest, there's a chance that the spores and stuff will fall out and spread around a little bit better. So I've been wandering around for about 10 minutes. And as you can see, I'm in a perfect area here. Got the beaver down cottonwood trees and the whole nine yards. This caught my attention. Some nice oyster mushrooms. We're finding plenty of those, but uh, no morels yet. We'll find them, we just gotta keep looking. Yeah, this is a pretty nice cluster here. They're a little bit drier than I'd like, but they're still totally edible. I'm gonna grab those as well. All right, so it's about another hour later, and I just found another oyster mushroom. This one's just past where I would say it's okay to take. It's like half eaten by bugs and it's not dry. I mean, there might be some salvageable stuff on there. I'm just gonna leave that one there to spore out. Uh, even though this entire tree has mycelium, oyster mushroom mycelium all through it, um, I'm just gonna leave it there. So I've been searching around for probably an hour and a half, maybe two hours. And yeah, this is perfect conditions to find the mushrooms I'm looking for. There are some mushrooms coming up other than the oysters that I already found. Here we have, uh, there's a nice little bunch of some sort of, who knows if it's edible or not mushroom. But I'm kind of checking out these, you know, the underbrush where it stays shady. And I have not found any morels yet. This is a new spot, I've never been to this spot before. It's just, a, you know, I just researched it and saw it was a perfect area. We had just enough rain. No luck yet, but I will keep you updated. All right, well, it is the next day. Um, yesterday, I was in a different spot and I did not find any morel mushrooms. Um, that was the first time I was ever at that spot and it looked perfect, but there was nothing to be found. 
So I came to a spot where I have found morel mushrooms in the past. Um, actually, I found them for the first time last week here in this, in this area. But as I was walking to my spot, I found a nice cluster of um, some oyster mushrooms again. So I mean, so far, counting what I found yesterday, I must have gotten probably, I don't know, five pounds of these things. I'm gonna cut them real low. And there's even a small cluster coming up next to it. But these are still, I mean, there's a couple bugs on it and there's some dirt and everything, but we'll clean that up, throw it in our mesh bag. And actually just looking around, I don't wanna lift the camera up to give away my spot here, but I can see three other clusters just growing out of the mulch here on the ground. This is awesome, man. Even if we don't find morels, we totally didn't strike out. This is awesome. All right, I'll get that in the bag and we'll keep going. All right, we got our first morel. As soon as I see these things, I get extremely happy because <laughs> they're so hard to find here in Colorado. Um, I know they're difficult to see. I know they're a little bit camouflaged, but there it is right there. We'll clear some of the branches off it. That's a pretty nice one too for around here. Awesome, man. Now the first thing I think of when I see one of these is to stop exactly where I'm standing and slowly look around because there's probably gonna be another one hiding somewhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one at the base and keep looking, man, this is great. We'll go ahead and we'll, all right, let's cut this thing low. Right there. Later in the year, we'll be going out for some black morels. So make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss those videos. Now this is the blonde variety of the morel mushroom. Um, later in the year, I'm gonna be going out for the black morel mushrooms, like the first week of June way up high in the elevations, like eight, 9,000 feet. But yeah, this time of year, this is the ones we're looking for right there. That one there is not dry at all. This is a fresh popper. We're probably gonna find more. I just got here. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes since uh, I found that first morel. I gritted this area out. I walked back and forth a few times, uh, keeping my eyes on the ground, moving very slowly, looking at every square inch of the ground, and I found one more morel, and I marked it with a stick over here. Right here, we have another morel. Right here is our morel. As you can see, this one here is super dry. This one must have popped. This one here must have popped during the, uh, the first flush. That was when the, the snow melt uh, put some moisture in the ground. As you can see, this one's really dry. Um, I'm just gonna leave that one here to spore out. Now it's not really necessary to do that because the ground here is covered in mycelium from the morel mushrooms. So they're gonna grow every year here uh, as long as the conditions are right. So anyway, we're gonna leave that one here. And uh, yeah, unfortunately we missed this one. I was out here about a week ago and I must have missed it. It would have been perfect about a week ago. But we're getting over to my honey hole area. Hopefully we'll find a couple more. Okay, well, we found two morel mushrooms. One's a keeper, one wasn't. But I'm on my way out, and I found another really nice cluster of oyster mushrooms um, on this cottonwood stump here. So I'm gonna grab those. You wanna cut these as close to the base as you can. And then you clean them up later. Wow. That's a nice cluster of mushrooms right there. They're a little bit dry, but you soak these in water and they're perfect. Sweet. Excellent. Found another cluster. Now we're stocking up on oyster mushrooms here. This, I mean, this spot is awesome. They're coming right out of the ground. This is all uh, cottonwood bark here on the ground and they're just popping up. Nice clusters like this. So nice. These are also one of my favorite mushrooms, so 
I'm super happy about this. I am seeing a lot of dry clusters around, but I'm also seeing ones that are just popping up, like this one here. Those are gonna be awesome in about a week, or maybe like three or four days, come back and those ones are just starting. I've also got, like these ones here are probably eatable. Like this part's crunchy, but if I don't take these, they're just gonna go to waste. I could definitely rehydrate those. Those are actually pretty good. Okay, so I'm just wandering through this densely packed aspen and uh, mostly cottonwood forest here. Uh, that is prime for morel mushrooms. I'm keeping my eyes on the ground. And I came up this little hill right here. And just as I got to the top of the hill, A nice cluster, that's the first cluster of morels I'm finding this year. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right there, man. Seven morels, they can be easily rehydrated, just let them soak in water overnight. And honestly, they're a little dry, and that's usually how I find them anyway. But yeah, man, they're not incredibly dry, they're just a little crunchy, this bottom one here, I don't know if you can see that one in the back. That one is, I'll show it to you. We'll cut it down low. Let's see. Yeah, this little guy here. Eh, I'll throw it in water and see what happens, but. I mean, that is the best group of morels I've found so far this year. Although the combined weight of these is probably the same weight as the one we found, uh, that solitary one. But that's awesome, man. We're in the right spot, and I'm also in a brand new area. Um, I'm just scouting around. You know, like 70% of looking for morels is actually doing the scouting and research and everything. I came out here, and sure enough, seven right off the bat. All right, let's keep looking. All right. It's been three hours since I started. And right here, I don't know if you can see it. I'll pick it out of the ground right here. Somebody picked a morel right here. So this is somebody else's spot apparently. Um, but we know that the morels are here and we know that the guy definitely missed some. So we're gonna keep looking for morels. But right here, got a real nice fresh thing of oyster mushrooms. Now, I think this is gonna be the last of the oysters that I pick because I'm gonna have enough for forever. So let's go ahead and pick these. These are actually really nice and fresh. And behind it, there's some buttons coming through. Uh, so those are gonna turn into big ones. But let's go ahead and cut these off. You know what, I'm, I'm just gonna break these off. I can't really get my knife in there. But yeah, that's a nice cluster right there. Yeah, that's the way to go, just rip them off. Look at all that mushroom, dude, that weighs like, that's like five pounds of mushrooms right there. I'm gonna finish cleaning this up when I get home, I guess. Uh, but yeah, these are nice and fresh. That is a lot of mushroom right there. It's awesome. All right, well, we're back home and these are all the morels I found in the past four tries of going out for morels. There's 24 mushrooms here. These are the seven I found, uh, eight I found today. Seven small ones in that one cluster and that one solitary one. Uh, the top row are the ones I found on my first day out. The second row here up to here are the five I found on my second day out. These three I found on a different day, and then today was here. I also found this pair of authentic Oakleys. I really don't know what they're worth, but they are the real thing. Um, maybe somebody can give me a value on these ones. That's what they look like. I saw those on the ground. I was like, whoa, that's a $100 pair of glasses. Pretty sure they are. So while I was looking for these morel mushrooms, as you know, I found a bunch of oyster mushrooms. Now this bucket, these ones have already been cleaned and soaking in water. 
and I had that one big cluster that I wanted to leave as is for the camera so when I came home you guys would see what it looks like I didn't clean this one up yet you can see there's still like, bugs and stuff in it but yeah that was pretty good um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and weigh up these morels here I know you can't read this but I'll let you know what it is so we're gonna zero out the container and let's add our mushrooms nine point three ounces now this everything here it was like 25 miles total I checked my app on my iPhone it was like 25 miles total to get all these mushrooms honestly though for me the real adventure it's not actually eating the mushrooms yeah it's good to have you know 10 plus pounds of oyster mushrooms and you know just about a pound of morels but just getting out there and enjoying the day and everything that's what it's all about every time you find one it's like treasure hunting so if you guys enjoyed this video please hit the thumbs up button if you haven't subscribed yet please do that i put out a new video every week that's all i got for today thanks for watching